Once again, my escape mission had failed. Trying to leave these accursed lands. Trying to escape Skyrim. The land kept pulling me back like it would never allow me to leave. But why? Now I was stuck in this cart with a thief and a bunch of terrorists. We arrived in the town of Helgun to meet the chopping board and the head axeman's blade. It was almost a relief. 22 times I tried to escape Skyrim. 22 times something had dragged me back and yet I still lived. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. With the two terrorists called and the thief next, maybe I could find a chance to escape. No care of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Then again, Anyone maybe that chance had already me? gone. Wait. You there. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. That's exactly what I didn't want. I wanted out of Skyrim. I wanted to get to Morrowind as quickly as I could and away from my so-called destiny. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. The politics of the Warlords and the Imperials didn't bother me. That sound, however, did. It looked like I'd been found already. No one around me knew what was about to happen. But they would soon regret ever being in Helgun at the same time as me. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. I nearly cried out to the man not to be so eager for death, and there may be a slim chance he may be able to get away from the ensuing chaos. But either way, everyone in Helgan would be dead within minutes, so it didn't matter whether it was the axe or something else. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Lord in the rags. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. They called me forward. I gladly accepted. Maybe I felt hurried and let them actually take my head. It might be the only way I could escape. But I knew. I knew Alduin wouldn't let me. Alduin would never let me. Either go or die. I was destined to be the next Dragonborn. Long years had we been enemies, me and Alduin. He needed me, and yet he wanted me to die just as much as I wanted to escape. But he couldn't do that. Not until the perfect time for the ritual that would transfer ourselves into each other. It was the only way he could escape the Dragon Curse, and pass on the scaly form to me. What is that thing? The 
legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. The Jarl and his lackey would be lucky to escape Helgum with their lives. We need to move now! Up through the tower. Let's go! I decided to keep pace with his right hand man. Maybe there was a slim chance I might be able to rescue at least one poor soul from this cursed village, now elderly Dragon King of Fandus. We wouldn't be going that way though. I quickly jumped onto the next building and tried scrabbling around to see if there was anything that could cut my bonds. I had told the Yol's right hand man to go a different way. I knew Alduin wanted me and only me really. So maybe it would give him the chance to run and escape. But of course, I come across someone else. Someone with a child. And I didn't want them to face the same fate that Alduin had bestowed upon so many. Prisoner, keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Edmar. I followed the young guard. Maybe if we step close, we might just both escape this, and he may live to see his son again. Aldrin was relentless, though, following us and cutting us off at every avenue. Quickly, follow me! The Imperial Guards and Mages tried their best, but their magic was no match for the might of Alduin. His magic had festered and lived for thousands of years, and now he was trying to bestow it on me. You'd think it'd be a gift, but it was a curse. Out of my way! We're escaping, Hedhar. You're not stopping us this time. Fine, I hope that dragon takes you all the summer. The Imperial Guard was brave, I'd give him that but I knew I'd stand more of a chance with the actual terrorists. I can cut you loose inside. Come on. 